Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jake and today we're going to talk about how to transfer video files from your Android to your Mac computer. If you own an Android and a Mac, you know the struggle that comes with trying to connect the two devices. Most programs that promise this ability have connectivity issues and you end up just sitting and waiting just for a simple connection to pass through. And then if you manage to actually get the connection working, it ends up not even being worth it because the transfer speeds are so slow. Then throw in the fact that the videos are gonna be much larger than pictures, so they're gonna naturally take a long time to transfer anyways. Well, we finally have a software that can offer you a seamless connection, fast transfer speeds, and the best part about it is that this software is free. The program that I'm talking about is called MacDroid. And there's actually a premium version of MacDroid with a few additional features. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around to the end of this video because we'll be giving away a discount code so be sure to finish the video. Now, as I was saying, MacDroid is a very user-friendly program and it fixes all the issues that we were talking about previously. MacDroid is made to be compatible with all Android devices. In fact, it actually offers two connection types to make sure that all Android devices are able to connect. The standard connection for Android devices is ATP mode, but unfortunately, this is a very slow connection. To fix this, MacDroid enabled ADB mode, which stands for Android Debug Bridge. And this unlocks some really fast transfer speeds, which is gonna be really important when you're transferring video files. Now, not only does MacDroid just solve all the issues that the other programs have, it also makes the connection feel like a seamless integration as if you are using a native macOS application. And it does this by mounting your device in the finder window, just as if it was a native macOS application. This is a really nice polishing touch to the program and it allows you to work with all the files on your Android device, as well as all the folders and you can work with them all at once. Now I'm gonna specifically go over how to transfer your videos from your Android to your Mac. Okay, so once you've downloaded MacDroid and you've plugged in your phone, you're gonna get a pop-up on your phone and it's gonna ask you if you wanna allow access to the phone data and you're gonna to wanna to hit allow so that MacDroid can access the data that needs to transfer. And after you've allowed it, you will see that the Android device shows up in your devices and you're just gonna come over here and you're gonna click mount the device. Then this little button that says show and finder is gonna pop up and now you can see that your device is mounted in the finder window. So it acts just like any other storage device. You can go into the files and you can see everything that's there. Now, if you want to transfer your videos, they could be under the DCIM folder. They could be under your downloads folder. Uh, mine happens to be under movies. And all you have to do is click and you can drag it. You can choose where you would like to drag it. I'm going to drag it to my videos folder. And it, now if I open that up, you can see that that pitching 30p.mp4 file did make it in there. Now that we've gone over MacDroid, I want to go over some of the alternatives that you could potentially use instead of MacDroid. Honestly, the only viable alternative is the Android file transfer app. I've tested a few other apps like Dr. Phone and the A PowerSoft Manager. But honestly, don't even waste your time with these apps. They are so overpriced, they are glitchy, and both of them took me at least 10 tries just to get a single connection working. Just stay away from the other apps. Now the Android file transfer app is solid, but unfortunately it does have some widespread connectivity issues. Even just a quick Google search shows just how many people are having trouble with this app. But if you want, you can go test it out, see if it'll work for you. And if it doesn't, or you just wanna skip all the hassle, I would highly recommend checking out MacDroid. Now the free version of MacDroid allows you to transfer all your files 
from your Android device to your Mac computer and the premium version will allow you to transfer back from your Mac to your Android. I would definitely recommend checking out the free version first and then if you find that you might need the premium version definitely check that out as well. So that's all I got for you guys today. And since you made it to the end of this video, we do have that discount code for you right there. Uh, so you can use that and you can get 15% off the premium version of MacDroid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.